Hey guys, I'm over in Veer and I'm in a one bedroom. One to give you an idea of what a one bedroom, one bath would look like over here. Um, this is Veer Towers East and right now we are actually on the, a special one bedroom. It's facing the Strip or facing Las Vegas Boulevard right over the Crystal Shopping Center. But uh, my name's Steve, I'm a broker here in Las Vegas and I sell uh, high-rise condos, I sell single-family homes as well, but one of my specialties is high-rise condos. So I wanna run you through this unit so you can have a good idea of what a one-bedroom could look like over in Veer. Uh, let's take a look at it. So I'll swing you right over, you, so you, can, you can see the unit behind me, but I wanna show you what this view looks like. There we go, swing it around. All right, here we are. Uh, this is a premier side of the building. You can see the Eiffel Tower, the Aria sign, Hollywood, uh, Planet Hollywood. And then as we go over onto this side over here, we got Crystal Shopping Center right down below. Uh, you got the Polo Towers, MGM Grand, and then actually right down here, you see the Waldorf Astoria. And this is actually the entrance into City Center. So everybody who's coming into City Center is going right through there, the front gate right there. Um, coming back into this unit, this is going to be one of the more standard floor plans. It's a one bedroom, one bath. We call it like an L-shaped kitchen. Uh, usually the difference in these units is the kitchen. So here we're at 841 square feet, uh, and this is what I mean by the L-shaped kitchen, right? So you got that right there that just kind of comes out to the L. It's pretty good open floor plan. Uh, usable space you got your breakfast bar uh, here as well uh, and this would be I'm standing right now in the front door so when you're coming through to this unit this is exactly what you would see uh, you got the kitchen off to the left the living room off to right ahead and then over to the right here we'd be going into you got sliding doors these are like sliding glass doors that go right into the bathroom and the bathroom is nice, uh, in my opinion, I think it's a nice build out. Veer is more of a modern complex. So if you're looking for modern, this is one of your only options, right? Uh, if you're looking for traditional build outs, uh, we got lots of that. Uh, but if you're looking for more of the modern, true modern uh, styles, you know, this is your tower, right? So you got your bowl sink over here. Uh, this color palette too, in Veer, there's three color palettes that came from the developer. Uh, this one is going to be a the middle of the road, right? So it's the medium color palette. Uh, they have a light, a medium, and a dark. Now coming into the bedroom, this actually is a shower tub area that flows right into the bedroom. Some people love it because they think, oh, this is really sexy. I like it. I'm in Vegas, right? But other people say, I want my privacy and I don't want my partner seeing me while I'm taking a shower. <laughs> but I mean, what is, is, what's your, what's your opinion on that guys? Would you want your shower and tub to be here in your Vegas condo? Or would you want it to be, you know, closed off like normal? Leave, leave a comment down below because I'm interested in that because I feel like it's, I don't know, maybe, 60% are okay with it and 40% are like, eh, I don't think I want that. Um, one thing I thought that was really cool on this one was you notice this outline here. So speaking of having this, you know, closed in or not closed in, this outline, this is not standard in a unit. This is a custom feature. This actually closes it. They took care of that problem. This person probably didn't like having someone looking at them. <laughs> so they closed it off which I thought was pretty neat, All right? Well, let's bring it back up. But, uh, oh, if you guys are enjoying this video or if you find any value out of it, please hit that like button because it does help me out. And if you are so inclined, please subscribe. Uh, this is going into the living room. So really, you're really flowing with this building, right? So you go right into the living room from the master, you can go right into it from the kitchen area. I mean, it's a pretty good floor plan in this one. I, I enjoy it myself. Um, what do you guys think? Is this a good floor plan? Is this something that you would see yourself living in? But uh, notice in these condos, 
you don't have too much storage, right? So if you're here, this is really a vacation home situation. Um, if you're looking for you know, primary residence, you may need to get something with more closet space. You may not, um, depending on how you live. But a lot of people, or a lot of these units were just designed for uh, second, third home kind of situations. But there's a lot of people that do live here full time as well. So somehow they make it work with clever ideas possibly. But here in the kitchen, I just wanna run you through uh, what they have, all really nice appliances. Uh, Bosch fridge, you have the stainless steel fridge here. Uh, that is gonna be original from the developer. You have the Bosch dishwasher, stainless steel. That's gonna be original from the developer. These cabinets are all original from the developer. This wasn't customized um, as far as that. You have the Bosch uh, oven here and the Bosch cooktop. They did Bosch appliances throughout everything, except for right above. This one, this microwave is not original from the developer. That's a Gen Air, it looks like. Um, Gen Air. Yeah, there you go, I think you can see it now. There you go. But um, this was not original from the developer. Uh, they did have a Bosch microwave that was gonna be in here, or that should have been in here originally, with a KitchenAid uh, vent that would pop out. Um, they did a KitchenAid vent in these original ones because they tested better than the Bosch at the time when this was built. And um, let me see, oh, got your washer and dryer right in here. Let's take a look and see what it is. Yep, it's Bosch, same thing. This is original from the developer. Um, so, I mean, these are like small, right? But some people like them, they're okay. Some people hate them. Um, I hear they get clogged easily and you have to clean it out or keep on your maintenance for that. But um, Again, this is just a one bedroom, one bath. This one's actually listed at 550,000. Um, let's flip that around real quick. So if you have any questions on this unit or any other units, please let me know. My name's Steve, I'm a broker here in Las Vegas. I sell and my partner Jessica leases all of our condos. Um, have any questions, let me know. And if you're finding any video or if you found any uh, use out of this video, please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, and let me know if you have questions. If you have questions about any tower in Las Vegas, I know them all and I'm going to go through them. Uh, right now I'm going through a few of your units today. I want to keep posting those videos up so you can see what the one bedroom floor plans can look like, um, what, they, what the two bedrooms can look like. Um, interesting, about, interesting thing about this condo community in Veer, they don't have the same floor plan going all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Uh, the building's leaning at a five degree angle <laughs> so they don't have the exact same floor plan going straight up. I don't know why they did, why they did it that way, but you know that's what they did. Um, sometimes it goes you know straight up for a little bit, and then it will change to a different floor plan. Sometimes it'll be three to five units that are exactly the same, and then it switches to a two bedroom or something changes somehow. Um, a lot of the square footages will be smaller on the bottom and then go bigger you know, to the top or vice versa, depending on what side of the building you're on. So you really need to know what unit you're looking at. This one bedroom does not speak for all of them, but this is more of a standard floor plan that chances are you'd see this one listed for sale. So it's not as rare as some of these other corner one bedrooms that are out there and um, some of the other ones that are on the ends of the building. But take a look at my other videos and I'll be posting those as well. All right. Uh, again, my name's Steve. Uh, contact information is down below. Like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.